afternoon. On behalf of all the Demon District 19 Board of Education, administrators, faculty, staff, students, and graduates, I would like to welcome you to the virtual commencement ceremony for the Alden Hebron class of 2020. We hope you enjoy it and that it is memorable for our graduates. Class of 2020, you have certainly learned one of life's greatest lessons this year. Nothing goes as planned, expect the unexpected, and do not be afraid to move forward with plan B. These last few months, though hard, will be a small portion of who and what you will become. Take pride in all that you've accomplished and how far you've come and have faith in how far you can go. Enjoy the journey life has to offer. I wish you all the very best. Congratulations, class of 2020. Why waste time, say a lot word, when few word do trick. Congratulations, class of 2020. Believe in yourselves. Dream. Try. Do good. Hey, class of 2020. I know your senior years didn't end the way that you wanted them to, but I am so proud of all of you and just wanted to say congratulations. You guys are done. You did it. Woo! Happy days, you are graduating class of 2020. I know you're gonna go out there and you're gonna see the world and you're gonna make a huge difference. I'm just sad that I missed out the end of your senior year. So you guys go out and make a great life. Bye-bye. Congratulations class of 2020. I am so very proud of you and I would like to congratulate you on all of your hard work and accomplishments. I know this year did not go as planned but celebrate the special time and the memories you have made. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hey, seniors, just wanted to say congratulations. Amazing job. We're so proud of you guys for finishing up the school year in such a weird, weird way. Um, but good luck in all that you do. And always remember to be kind to others, but more importantly, to be kind to yourself. And always remember too that it's okay to not be okay and it's okay to ask for help. And asking for help doesn't mean that you're weak, it means that you're strong. So if you need anything, you have a family here to reach out to, always get help if you need it. Take care of yourselves and good luck in all that you do. We'll miss you, keep in touch, bye. Congratulations class 2020. Hey seniors, uh, Mr. George here, just wishing you the best of luck. Please um, learn, follow most of the rules, and be brave, have some fun, and again, please try and learn something, okay? Good luck. Bye. Hey seniors, Miss Act George here. Just want to wish you good luck. I know the year didn't end exactly the way we were hoping for, but it just makes the class of 2020 even more unique. Um, please go out and do amazing things. Stay healthy, be careful, and stay in touch. I'm always here if you uh, need somebody to talk to. You know my email. Good luck. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hey seniors, it's Mrs. Donnelly. I just wanted to say congratulations on graduating and let you know how proud I am of each of you. If you ever need anything, don't be afraid to reach out. I'm really excited to see what each of you are going to do now that you've graduated from Hebron. So again, congratulations and good luck. Hi, class of 2020. I know this day is not at all how you pictured, but do not let that diminish the importance of this day. You have all worked so hard for 13 years to get to this point, and I am so proud of you. This class of 2020 will always hold a special place in my heart because you are the first class that I got to see all the way through. From wide-eyed freshmen to the beautiful people you are today. I'm so happy for all that you have accomplished and I wish you the best of luck in the future. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, you're graduating. Ms. Schaefer here. Hope you have an amazing future that is bright, that you work hard, you be kind, and you do good things in this world. Yes, 
afternoon. I am Mrs. Vanderpaul and I am the academic advisor. At this time, I would like to direct your attention to the accomplishments of our seniors, beginning with the scholarship awards. Before recognizing the winner of the alumni scholarship, I would like to take a second and thank those that were on the committee. Mrs. Deanna Vanderpaul, Mr. John Lawler, Mr. Jacob Burns, Mr. Scott LeBaron, and Mrs. Davina Vanderpaul all former graduates of Alden Hebron High School who currently work in the district. The winner of the 2020 Alumni Scholarship for $500 this semester and $500 next semester goes to Carly Gritmacher. On behalf of the Richmond Spring Grove Area Rotary, I am pleased to congratulate Anna Weber on receiving a $1,500 scholarship. Taking second place in the essay contest in all of McHenry County, the winner of the Daughter of American Revolution Good Citizen Award Scholarship is awarded to Miss Anna Weber. And now for the recipients of the American Legion Awards. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to 2020 graduation ceremonies. Every year, it is my honor to be able to hand out the male and female senior career athlete awards. But before I do that, I just want to congratulate the whole class of 2020. And I want to say how bad I miss all you guys. I never thought I would be standing here in our empty gym handing out this award. And I never thought I'd be standing here saying how much I miss being out in the rain and the drizzle and the cold wind and air trying to get baseball fields and softball fields ready for play. How much I miss eating all the dust and the dirt when I'm dragging the track trying to get that ready and trying to get it to dry out for track practice in the middle school track meet. But I, I miss that and I miss being able to try to help you make some of those special moments and memories that I know you're missing out on. These are crazy times that we are all going through right now, and you are missing out on some very special moments in your lives. But if you can learn one thing from this, and we all can learn, learn to appreciate what you have. What, make the most out of every moment and opportunity that you have, because you never know when those moments and opportunities will come to an end. I have faith in all of you, and want to challenge all of you, to make the most out of this situation. Treasure the moments you have made together, but move forward with your lives and accomplish many great things to come. Take that as a challenge. Stay positive, stay healthy, and stay giant strong. Now on to the awards. For our senior male athlete, this young man earned three minors, six major letter awards in three different sports. He was a five-time All-Academic NAC Award winner. He earned the Coach's Award his freshman year in baseball. He was Offensive Player of the Year his senior year in football. He was second-team All-Conference in baseball his junior year, second-team All-Conference in basketball and football this year his senior year. He was voted MVP of his basketball team this year as a senior and was voted to play in the McHenry County Area All-Star Basketball Extravaganza. It is my honor to award Mr. Michael Ellison as your 2020 Career Senior Male Athlete. Congratulations, Mikey. And now for our senior female athlete. This young lady earned one minor and eight major letter awards in three different sports. She was a four-time All-Academic NAC Award winner. She was voted most improved for her softball her freshman year, was a two-time free throw champion her junior and senior years for basketball, was a two-time second team all-conference player, 
was a first team all-conference basketball player and runner-up player of the year for the Northeastern Athletic Conference this year, her senior year. She was honorable mention all area player for basketball this year. She qualified for and represented us at the three point contest downstate this year in the shootout. She was voted most valuable player this year for basketball and was also voted to McHenry County area all-star basketball extravaganza. She is on the school girls basketball record board 10 times and became the all time career leading scorer this year with 1,225 points. It is my honor to award Miss Rachel Paul as your 2020 career senior female athlete. Congratulations, Rachel. Congratulations to the whole class of 2020 and good luck in the future, guys. I miss you. Hello to my fellow graduates and everyone listening. As all of you have now come to know after spending the last couple months on Zoom and making many loaves of banana bread during quarantine, our senior year has been quite a whirlwind of an adventure to say the least. On a Friday afternoon in the middle of March, our lives as high school seniors were completely turned around. Little did we know that would be the last day of high school ever. Missing out on so many end of the year memories, especially as seniors, has been disappointing for us all. However, despite this, I know that each and every one of us has grown stronger and learned so many valuable lessons along the way because of it, like even how to gain 15 pounds. Graduating in the midst of a global pandemic has taught us to hold on to our high school memories and not wish it to be over so soon. So I would like to take a moment to relive some of our most cherished memories from the past four years and give my thanks and gratitude to everyone who has supported me throughout high school. In August of 2016, we started out as timid 14-year-old freshmen, about to take on the next four years. I remember the very first day of high school, Mr. Klein, our freshman year English teacher, telling us that high school would fly by and before we know it, we would be graduating. As freshmen, time appeared to be at a standstill. Graduation seemed like a decade away and all we cared about was trying to get out of high school as fast as possible. At least I know I did. Sure enough, he was right, and the past four years have flown by. Standing here as a graduate whose senior year has been cut short by COVID-19, I wish I would have spent less time wishing high school away and more time appreciating the little moments that have filled me with lasting memories. Trace Adkins says it perfectly in his song, You're Gonna Miss This. He says, you're gonna miss this. You're gonna want this back. You're gonna wish these days hadn't gone by so fast. These are some good times, so take a good look around. You may not know it now, but you're gonna miss this. As we now know, these moments are never guaranteed. I will never forget standing up and singing the Spanish alphabet in Ms. Cooper's Spanish one class, Ms. Ricard's rather interesting health class, and even slapping cold mayonnaise with a wooden spoon in physics to see if it could be used as an instrument, which, side note, it cannot, as Carly Bree and I concluded. One of my favorite memories in high school was watching our football team go down state to the eight-man state championship last year and then getting lost in Iowa at 3 a.m. shortly after. Thanks, Gary. The camaraderie we have built with our classmates, teachers, and staff members are memories we will carry on with us throughout college, the workforce, and whatever post-secondary plans we wish to pursue. As I have previously stated, I would like to take a moment now to thank those special people in my life who have made a world of a difference. Firstly, I would like to thank my parents, who have worked so hard to give me everything I have in life. Thank you for teaching me the meaning of hard work and supporting me in my academic and athletic involvements. I would not be where I am today without your endless love and support. Next, I want to thank the wonderful teachers that I've had the pleasure of learning from. You all have taught me so much more than just English, math, and science. Mrs. Donnelly, thank you for staying after school with me junior year to nerd out on books. That truly meant so much to me. Mr. Behrens, thank you for making class so much fun. Physics was my all-time favorite class, thanks to you. Mr. George, thank you for being patient with me, answering all my questions in calculus, and devoting your time to help me succeed before school would start every morning. Ms. Ike, thank you for teaching our class the life skills we need to succeed in the world and inspiring me to pursue a degree in accounting. And Mrs. Vanderpaul, thank you for everything. Thank you for being a second mom to me. 
I will forever be grateful of the time you took to help me with my college application process. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for being someone I can always count on and trust. It means the world to me. Lastly, thank you Alden Hebron for giving me the best friends anyone could ask for. The connections I've made with you guys are unparalleled and I appreciate you all so much. On a final note, I would like to conclude this speech with a powerful quote on attitude by Charles Swindle. He says, the longer I live, the more I realize the impact of attitude on life. Attitude to me is more important than facts. It is more important than the past, the education, the money, than circumstances, than failure, than successes, than what other people think or say or do. It is more important than appearance, giftedness, or skill. It will make or break a company, a church, a home. The remarkable thing is, we have a choice every day regarding the attitude we will embrace for that day. We cannot change our past. We cannot change the fact that people will act in a certain way. We cannot change the inevitable. The only thing we can do is play on the one string we have, and that is our attitude. I am convinced that life is 10% what happens to me and 90% of how I react to it. And so it is with you, we are in charge of our attitudes. So graduates, I leave you with this. We cannot control an unknown virus, but we can control our attitudes towards it. Let's focus on how far we have come throughout high school rather than what we have missed out on. And for one last time, go Giants. Thank you. Before I begin, I would like to introduce myself to those who don't know me. My name is Carly Grantmaker. I am class president, cheerleader, softball player, volleyball player for one year, dancer, theater kid, choir member, yearbook editor, student council president, and all around crazy person. A good crazy, I might add. <laughs> now, for what you're here for. The class of 2020. We finally made it. What a roller coaster year it has definitely been. I would like to start by saying congratulations. I know this is not what we expected or wanted, but I think it is safe to say our class knows how to roll with the punches. 15 years ago, I started my first day of preschool at Alton Hebron Elementary School. I got to know the people that would soon become a huge part of my educational journey. And each year, classmates came and went, well, some of us stuck around. My first day of kindergarten, I sat at my assigned two-foot-tall red table in Miss Walcos's class, who now goes by Miss Palin, next to Logan Bull and Gabe Hanfond. I thought that it was the most difficult year of my life, coloring in worksheets and writing in the first 100 numbers for 60 seconds. It seemed impossible. Kindergarten felt like rocket science or one of Mr. George's tests. But boy, was I wrong. I am sure after going through high school, everyone in our class would love to go back just for nap time. <laughs> Every year brought the Alden Hebron class of 2020 a new class. We had grown up and matured together. Our class, through every dramatic moment, every tear, every laugh, remained strong as one. We stuck together. There was drama, sure, but what dysfunctional family doesn't have it? Honestly, though we definitely had our moments, we were a genuinely good class most of the time. <laughs> then high school hit. Man, did high school really shake us. It was a whole new atmosphere for us, even if it was still the same building as middle school. We were figuring ourselves out while trying to figure out each other. It was scary. I mean, freshman year is for everyone. But like we always do, we got through it. We crushed the sophomores in powder buff. It was a huge victory, especially since they had been smack talking to us all week and had arguably the best float in homecoming that year. As high school went on, we found out more about who we were and discovered what we wanted or didn't want in life. Then came senior year, and this year hit us hard. Worse than when you have a test from Miss Ike and Mr. George on the same day. The pressure was on for us to figure out what college or trade that we were going to choose. I'd like to say that the decision was easy, but it wasn't. We just wanted to enjoy our senior year. We wanted to make those few last memories that we could before we parted ways. Unfortunately for us, the pandemic hit and theater kids lost their show. Spring athletes lost their final season. We lost our last walk through the hallway on our final day of school before graduation. 
I will admit, the first couple of weeks away first from school were rough for me. I felt defeated. I mean, we all wanted what we were supposed to have for our final two months of high school. Without all of those extra high school moments, what was the point in trying anymore? I didn't have that answer until I had one of those epiphany moments. I was reflecting on the school year, the laughs, the bus rides to and from football games, the cheers when we won Powder Puff, the feeling of finishing that autobiography for Miss Ike's class at 3 in the morning. I was reflecting on all of it as I was lying in bed one night and trying to think of what I was going to say to the class that I had grown up with, the class that picked me up when I fell, that made me proud of where I was from. And what I came up with was already in front of me. I had written a poem, and I feel it conveys my salute to my class perfectly, so here it is. Dear Class of 2020, I may never get to wish you farewell in a salutatorian speech at a real graduation ceremony. I may never get to leave a, lead us in the moving of the tassel before we throw our caps in the air. I may never get to do one more silly dance with you at our last prom. I may never get to experience one more softball game with my team or feel the sting of the bat after hitting the ball on the sweet spot. I may never get to jump and cheer at a baseball game or a track event one last time, and I may never get to perform on stage and bow my final bow. I may never get to say goodbye as we walk down the hallway in our final moments of high school. Dear Class of 2020, here is what I will do. I will stay connected, give us the chance to reminisce as a class of all the moments in high school that made us laugh, that made us cry, that made us bored, and that made us intrigued. Dear Class of 2020, I love you all. I know we will come out of quarantine stronger. I know we will become what they never thought we'd be. Dear Class of 2020, we made it through 15 years together, and I think we can make it through this. We're all in this together, strong like the olden Hebron giants we are. I miss you all. I will see you soon. Until we meet again. With love, Carly. We will now recognize each individual graduate with the distribution of diplomas for the class of 2020. Logan William Bowl. Lorianne Elizabeth Bowdish. Hey everybody, finally fixed the lighting. I wanted the pretty sky in the background. Um, so I have planned for MCC next year is what I'm planning to do, hopefully for the fall. And I'm gonna try to start my journey on music therapy, see where that takes me. But wow, isn't this weird guys? I don't like this. <laughs> it just feels wrong, but it is right. So. I want you guys to know that I miss you so much. Like, teachers, students, all of you, I miss you so much. Um, I hope you stay safe, and I'll be seeing you soon. Trust me. Thomas Casaboon. Robert A. Craker. Giovanni Leangelo Di Pasquale Michael Jonathan Ellison Dylan Julian Farley Braseda G. Flores Hi, I'm Braseda Flores. After high school, I plan on starting at MCC for two years and then transferring to a four-year university to pursue speech pathology. Angelina Marie Foust. After high school, I plan on joining the Hebron Fire Department as well as continuing my education at MCC Fire Academy to in the future become a firefighter EMT. After being a firefighter EMT for a couple of years, my plan is to apply to ALBAT in Medway, Ohio to become a journeyman. My favorite part about senior year had to be homecoming. I really enjoyed hanging out with friends before the dance, getting ready, going out to eat, 
and then getting there and just dancing the night away and having the time of our lives, especially because it was our last one and we just really took it all in and really enjoyed it. Carly Jane Gripmacher. I'm Carly Gripmaker and I will be continuing my education at MCC studying culinary arts and baking pastry while getting a transferable degree. I am going to miss most about Alden Hebron, the football games, cheering with my friends, and all the school sports activities. David D. Gresda. Gabriel H. Hanflan. My name is Gabe Hanflan. In the fall, I'll be attending DePaul University um, to major in elementary education with a career goal in pediatric occupational therapy. Karen Hernandez Hernandez. Zachary Otis. Herring. My name is Zach Herring. Um, in the fall, I'll be attending the University of Tulsa to pursue a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering. Um, one of my favorite memories is going to the state championship for football. Um, it was a lot of fun, but we lost. It was really cold. And then Another one would be this summer when we went to football camp. Um, that was really fun. It was a great team bonding experience. It was also a lot of hard work. Um, shout out Mikey, Dylan, and Matt. Those are my boys. Uh, some advice that I would have is do not graduate during the global pandemic. That's it. Noah J. Higgins. Colin Morasanu. Rachel Marie Paul. Hi, I'm Rachel Paul, and my plans after high school are to play basketball and softball at MCC for two years and study my associates in science. And then I plan to transfer to Platteville University to study agricultural science. Madeline Julia Voli. Anna Marie Weber. Julia Christine Wickman. Dr. Elleberg and the Board of Education of Alden Hebron District 19. These graduates have fulfilled the requirements set forth by the State of Illinois in Alden Hebron District 19. It is my pleasure to present to you the class of 2020. As class president, I was supposed to lead the class in the moving of the tassel at the end of our graduation ceremony. Due to the current circumstances, I offer a virtual option. Move your tassel. You made it. Congratulations, Alden Hebron class of 2020. Hi, I'm Mike Norton, President of the Alden Hebron School Board. On behalf of the school board, I would like to say congratulations to the class of 2020. High school seniors were born around 9-11 and now will be graduating during the pandemic and quarantine. These two major events will forever be remembered and defined by this generation. All of your seniors have already faced historical events and challenges and you will always be remembered for your strength and resilience during this time. You may face other obstacles in your life, but because of your life experiences, you can be assured you can handle anything that comes your way. Be proud of your accomplishments and congratulations to the class of 2020. Thank you for joining us to celebrate Alden Hebron School District 19's class of 2020. I am so proud of this class and their families. Even though we were not able to be together in the traditional manner, it is clear by the accomplishments of the class of 2020 that they are an outstanding group of students. This spring, your last semester on campus is a time I know that you and your families have been anticipating for many years. 
For some, you will be continuing on to college or vocational schools. For others, this will mark the culmination of your educational journey. For all of us though, I am fully aware that the actions to prevent COVID-19 spread have caused a disruption to this special semester, as well as anxiety and concern. I am as heartbroken as you are that your final months at Alden Hebron School District 19 and the multiple opportunities to celebrate your crowning achievements have been impacted by this global crisis. I know that many of you have successfully navigated challenging situations in the past, and while this is certainly both historic and unique, I am confident that we will be a resilient community and that each of you will not only persevere, but learn from this experience. It is with my utmost wish that you remain connected to the staff, with your friends and your classmates, remain steadfast as I am in the knowledge that your Alden Hebron education, the relationships made, the learning you have achieved, and the experiences you have made during your time here on campus, including this final semester, will serve you well in the years to come. You are Giant Strong. Thank you. Time of your life. I hope you had the time of your. 